Welcome to this instructional video on how to use the JW Library app teaching toolbox in our ministry. In this video, we focus on how to configure the toolbox for effective use in multilingual territories. We will also demonstrate how to add other tools within the JW Library app so that they can be as easily accessible as tools in our teaching toolbox. There are several hardware and software platforms that can run the app, but we will only focus on mobile devices, specifically the Apple iOS platform and the Android platform, whether smartphone or tablet. We are assuming you already have the JW Library app installed on your device. If this is not the case, head over to the JW.org website for instructional videos on installation. To begin, let's first discuss the media download options that the JW Library app provides. For printed app publications, if you see a cloud symbol while connected to the internet, tap anywhere in the publication's thumbnail and it will automatically download it to your device. After it is downloaded, you can view it anytime without an internet connection. For videos, if you see the same cloud symbol, you have the option to stream it to your device without downloading it. This feature always requires a good internet connection every time you play the video, but it will not consume any space or memory on your device. However, for use in the ministry, we recommend downloading the video to your device, so you do not have to depend on a reliable internet connection whenever you play the video. So while connected to the internet, tap on the lower right-hand corner of the, video, the, the video's thumbnail icon where the cloud symbol is, and additional options will appear regarding what video quality to download. And this we will look at a little bit more closely later on. For both printed publications and videos, if you see a symbol resembling two curved arrows pointing to each other in a circle, this means that updates to this media are available. While connected to the internet, tap on the symbol to update the publication or video. On the other hand, if you don't see any symbol on the lower right-hand corner of the publication's thumbnail icon, this indicates the media is already downloaded to your device and it is up to date. Now we will demonstrate how to download publications and videos for the teaching toolbox on your Apple and Android device. First, let's look at the Apple platform. Make sure your device is connected to the internet. Tap on the JW Library icon to open it it should open to the home page. If not, tap on the home icon at the bottom of the app. Under teaching toolbox, uh, the first few tools will be videos. If the videos have not been downloaded yet, tap on the cloud symbol within the videos uh, thumbnail icon. In this case, the why study the Bible has not yet been downloaded. Note that there are several options for video quality that will be shown once you tap on that symbol. If instead the video starts playing, you did not tap on the cloud symbol precisely. So stop the video playback and try tapping on the video thumbnails cloud symbol again. So what video quality should you choose? In general, for large tablets, you should select the highest resolution, 720p. For all other devices, such as smartphones or small tablets, the next highest resolution, 480p, is a good choice. Remember in principle, the lower the resolution, the blurrier the video will be. The larger the screen, the higher the resolution you will want. Do this for all the videos in the teaching toolbox. And note when the video has been downloaded, its thumbnail will show three white dots at the upper right hand side. For all other publications in the toolbox, since they are printed publications, tap anywhere on the publication's thumbnail icon to download it to your device. Now for the Android platform, again, make sure your device is connected to the internet. Locate the JW Library icon and tap on it. It should also open to the home page. If not, tap on the three horizontal bars at the upper left-hand side and then tap on the home icon. Under the teaching toolbox, uh, videos that have not yet been downloaded will also have that cloud symbol. Tap on it to download. As before, make sure you click precisely on the cloud symbol to see the video download resolution options. Select the video quality that is appropriate for your device. And you're gonna to wanna to do this for all the videos in the teaching toolbox. Note when the video has been downloaded, its thumbnail will also show three white dots on the upper right-hand side 
although arranged a little differently than on Apple devices. Now for all other publications in the toolbox, again, since they are printed publications, you can tap anywhere on the publication's thumbnail icon to download it to your device. In the ministry, it is important to ensure that your videos play back and with enough volume so the householder can hear it. Now, we've all accidentally triggered a video during a meeting, even though we thought we silenced our devices. Note that, that with both Apple and Android, the volume control for device notification sounds is different than the volume control for media playback. Understanding this distinction will help us ensure videos can be heard in the ministry, but are silent during meetings if accidentally triggered. Here are some tips that can help us. So if you have uh, an Apple device, Note that you can adjust the volume of media playback by tapping on the volume control buttons, those physical buttons on the side of your device. The volume setting will display on the screen as you see here. You can adjust the volume even if you have set your device to silent, since you are adjusting the media playback volume and not your device notification volume. Now we can verify this easily by going to the Apple control panel and verifying the device notification is on mute but the media volume is not. So before going out in the ministry, check to make sure the media volume is up, but during the meetings, adjust it so that it is off. And also check to make sure that your device notification volume is set to mute. Now, how do we do this on the Android? For Android devices, you can actually explicitly adjust the volume on your device notifications as well as that of your media playback simultaneously. On your Android phone or tablet, swipe from the top of your screen down to bring up the control panel. Tap on the gear icon to bring up settings. Locate a category called sounds and vibrations or something similar and tap on it. Find a subcategory for volume. If you tap on that, you notice that you can independently adjust the notifications volume and the media volume. By setting the media volume up, video playback will be audible. Adjust this setting to the correct level or an appropriate level before going out in the ministry. But by setting the media volume to off, video playback will be muted. This is a good setting for meetings. Tap on the return button on your tablet to exit that screen. Now it is time to download all the tools in the teaching toolbox for all other languages you may encounter in your territory. The procedures are like what we did for our primary language. So if we have the Apple, uh, if we have the, an, an Apple device, this is how we might do this. Make sure again that your device is connected to the internet and at the home screen of the JW Library app, locate the teaching toolbox. On the right-hand side of the toolbox, note the current language. In this case, it is English. Tap on the language and enter or locate the desired foreign language to load. Note that you can only load one language at a time and it will only affect the teaching toolbox. Note the Why Study the Bible video still needs to be downloaded. So we will go ahead and download it. For printed publications, there is a feature we did not review previous, previously, but it is useful in the foreign language field, especially for tracks. So let's locate a track and tap on it to open it. And note on, on the right-hand side, there is a headphones icon. Tap on it and select download audio. This will save the audio transcript of that track in that language on our device. Now you can simply tap on the headphones icon and select play audio and then tap on the uh, track thumbnail. In this way, the householder can view the track contents while the audio transcript in that language is being played back. To stop audio playback, click on the X at the lower right hand side. Now the, clearly this is a very useful feature, particularly if you don't know the language well yourself or if the householder does not read well. A very effective way to share the good news with them. Now for the Android, the procedures are identical, so we will not uh, need to explicitly demonstrate them here. In our, in our territory, endeavor to find out what likely foreign languages are in our field so that we can download the teaching toolbox resources in those languages ahead of time. For example, at the 
Brentwood English Congregation in Nashville, Tennessee, here are the top languages we encounter in our territory. When locating languages to the load, note that there could be subtle varieties or dialects to each major language group. For instance, there are several dialects for Arabic shown in parentheses. So make sure you understand which ones really apply to your territory. So you're in the field and you've downloaded the JW Library App Teaching Toolbox in all the languages you think you need on your device. How do you efficiently switch between all those languages, particularly if you are uncertain what language the householder will actually speak? Well, let's see how we can do that if we have an Apple device. Open the JW Library app and locate the Teaching Toolbox on the home page. Note that the toolbox language needs to be set to English. For videos, locate the toolbox video you want to play back and click on the three white dots on the upper right-hand side of the video, video's thumbnail image. Note it will quickly provide you with an option to select which language to play back depending on what you have already downloaded. For printed publications, this feature works pretty much the same way. Tap on the white dots to promptly bring up a list of all the languages that have been downloaded for the publication. And then simply tap on the language you want to display. For the Android, the procedures are nearly identical, so we don't have to dem explicitly demonstrate them here. Now, there may be additional publications you want to make as easily accessible to those in the teaching toolbox. For instance, if you're featuring the current issues, of our magazines are engaged in a special campaign. For example, suppose you want to download the video featuring an introduction to the latest regional convention during the convention's track campaign. Uh, so if you have an Apple device, here's how you might do that. Make sure it's connected to the internet and in the home page of the JW Library app, under what's new, locate the latest convention preview video. In this case, it's the 2019 Love Never Fails convention and download it to your device if it has not yet been downloaded. Then tap on the three white dots at the upper right-hand corner of the video's thumbnail image, and then select Add to Favorites. Scroll back up on the home page, and under Favorites, notice a shortcut to the video has been conveniently created. Now under what's new on the right-hand side, select a different language. Note that you can select more than one language at a time, but this can lead to confusion. So make sure you deselect all other languages. Then locate the same video under the language and download it. Then tap on the video thumbnails, three white dots and select add to favorites. Scroll back up to the home page and verify under favorites, a shortcut to the video in this language is now also visible. Note you need to add each language's video separately and it will appear as a different thumbnail. Now you can add other videos as well as printed publications to your favorites in the same way. To remove them from your favorites, under favorites, click on the three white dots of the publication's thumbnail image and select remove from favorites. This will remove the shortcut to the publication, but it will not actually delete the publication or video itself from your device. Now for the Android, the procedures, once again, are identical, so we don't have to explicitly demonstrate them here. Well, thank you for viewing this instructional video. I hope these tips, tips will help you better leverage the features of our JW Library app in multilingual territories, thereby allowing you to fully accomplish your ministry.